I've been sad. I mean, how do we know that Jesus is for sure the true king? I mean, last time we just found out that he died and was buried. Well, I'm so glad you asked me that because today is Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. He is risen. What? He is risen indeed. What? Oh, you don't want to miss it, Lyle. The first Easter is truly amazing. Amazing things happen. And it proves that Jesus is the true king. He is the risen king. Okay? Now, let's look at our story. Early on the first day of the week, the first Easter Sunday, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and she saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Peter and to John and said, they've taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they've put him. So Peter and John started running towards the tomb. John got there first, bent over and looked at the strips of linen lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Peter came along behind him, went straight into the tomb, saw the strips of linen that were there and the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus's head. Finally, John decided to go into the tomb and he saw and believed. See, they still did not understand from scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then they went back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying and she cried and cried looking at the tomb. And then all of a sudden she saw two angels in white seated where Jesus's body had been. And they asked her, woman, why are you crying? And she said, they've taken my Lord away and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not realize that it was Jesus. And Jesus asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, Sir, if you carried him away, please tell him where you've put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out, Teacher, go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I've seen the Lord, she told them. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Jesus was seen by many, many people. And he appeared to hundreds and hundreds of people for a period of 40 days. There is no doubt that says that he had beaten death. He had risen from the dead. He was risen indeed. And the amazing thing is that by Jesus rising from the dead, it tells us three things. First, Everything he said and did was true. He said he was going to die. He said he was going to rise again. And he did. And he did. It tells us that if Jesus can beat death, if he can conquer death, if we trust in him, we too will beat and conquer death. We will rise again just as he did. And finally, it tells us that he is indeed the risen king. He is the Lord of life and death. He is the Lord of the whole world, of the whole universe. He is indeed an amazing king. Roar! Whoa, I didn't think dead people came back to life. Jesus is surely king. Whoa! And Diana, if he rose again, it means that there's hope for us when we die. An absolutely certain hope. Jesus is rising again means that we too will rise if we trust in him and that he is a king, a king that will live forever. 
Whoa. Well, you know, Zion, I've decided um, nobody can compare to the true king. Yeah, let Jesus be king and I'll just be Lyle the Lion. Roar. That's a great idea, Lyle. Happy Easter, boys and girls. <laughs>